morning. All day you make, goddammit. And IGF-1. 10 micrograms. Liver and organ. I can't stress enough to you guys. If you're going to be taking shit, you got to take care of yourself. You got to do the best you can to stay as healthy as you can. Very fucking important. All day you may. Rimadex. A Rimadex. One every other day. Liver and organs. Three pills, three times a day. Ah, oh yeah. Okay, it's cardio time. So, it's day five, and today we're gonna up the cardio. But we're only gonna up it five minutes. I mean, five minutes, what's that, right? So we're gonna up the cardio five minutes. We're gonna go from 20 to 25 minutes, and we're gonna get motherfucking shredded. God damn it, right? All right, guys, let's fucking do this. All right, cardio time, 25 minutes. All right, I've got to speed this goddamn thing up. Incline all the way up. I think it only goes to 15. Come on. There we go. A little faster. There we go. Big steps. Squeeze every step. Glutes, hamstring, quads. Push up with the calf. Feel it. Think about it. You gonna join me for some cardio or what, baby? Of course. So I guess it's time to put the camera away and get this fucking treadmill going. You ready? Mm-hmm. You're gonna go try some workouts, you know what I'm saying? Only with you. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope everyone out there is fucking stretching. Don't leave out the stretching. Cardio done. Feels fucking good. Stretching done. Vacuums done. So I feel good. First meal of the day. Keto shake. It was in the freezer a little too long, babe. <laughs> but it is good. I love it when it's like a fucking icy. So almond milk, peanut butter, and egg crystals. And it is some good ass shit, man. Fuck, these are so good. I haven't switched back to almond butter since we started. I've been doing peanut butter every fucking day. What about you? I had an almond butter one the other day and it was terrible. <laughs> Our fault. We fucked it ourselves, right? <laughs> it's all your fault. You're like, babe, can you get some peanut butter? Mix them with peanut butter. I'm like, um, okay. Man. Yeah, fucking peanut butter all the way. Oh. Mm. Can we try Nutella next time? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nut butter, right? It's hazelnuts. It just happens to have some chocolate in there. <laughs> so what do they put? Chocolate and... It's the hazelnuts, coconut oil, and... Do they have hazelnut uh, butter? I mean, like a peanut butter or almond butter, but with hazelnuts? Uh, I think so. At Trader Joe's probably, right? No, actually, I think they carry it at Target. Wow. We should buy that and try it, right? I don't really know much about hazelnuts, but I'm sure Honestly, fine. it's not that good. Oh, you had it? Yeah, hazelnuts are not yummy, but for right. whatever reason, Nutella is bomb. Probably well, the fucking chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> you can put any goddamn nut in there. <laughs> we are training legs, goddammit. So we're going to start with hamstrings. We're going to start with seated leg curls and I gotta say I love this hammer machine uh, I never really had the chance to use this machine this is the first gym I trained out that has it and it is fucking awesome you get a crazy squeeze at the end 
And uh, so Chanel joined me for the workout, as you can see. So we had a good time training together. Um, we usually do try to train together um, other than when I'm filming. Other than that, we try to train together as much as possible because we both enjoy this shit. Very important, right? All right, so seated hamstring curls. Stretch it and squeeze it. It's all about contracting that hamstring. The bigger the squeeze, the bigger the contraction, the more fucking you're going to gain. So you really got to squeeze that shit every single rep. And the next exercise is lying leg curls. And I noticed that lying leg curls, I feel it more lower part of the hamstring. And the seated leg curl, I feel higher, closer to the glutes. Um, also depends on the angle of the lying hamstring curl. Um, but this is a great machine. This is probably my all-time favorite hamstring machine. Um, I can just really get a good squeeze, really contract those hamstrings. And, you know, as far as a mass builder, this, I think, is ideal. Even over stiff-legged deadlifts. I was never a real big fan of those. So, after line leg curls, we go to hyper extensions. But instead of doing it for lower back, we're using the hamstring and glutes. So, you keep your back rounded. And as you come up, you squeeze your ass. As you can see, Chanel's doing a pretty good job of squeezing her ass. And what an ass that is. Jeez. <laughs> so up, squeeze, stretch that hamstring. Up, squeeze the ass. All right, done with hamstrings. Now we're on to quads. So we're starting off with leg press. And we're hitting between 20 and 30 reps. High rep. And just get a pump. And really blast those quads. I don't really see any reason in... You know, load the whole machine up and, you know, do an 8 to 10 reps. I'm more of a high rep when it comes to quads. So, rep that shit out. Get those quads burning. And, um, great fucking exercise. But, squats is always better. With my knees, you know, I gotta be careful. So, I highly suggest squats, A number one. Next exercise, leg extensions. So, most important on leg extensions is to get a big squeeze on top. I consider this more of an isometric where you have to do the work. You have to squeeze that muscle at the top, get a full stretch, and squeeze just like you're flexing the quad on stage. Every rep, just squeeze it as hard as you can and think about etching in those deep fucking striations. All right, last exercise. I decided to try some squats. So I'm just doing some light squats, see how it feels on my knees. And I gotta say, man, it, it felt pretty good. And I was pretty happy with the way I felt and you know, pretty comfortable. And my knees weren't hurting too bad. So that's it. It is fucking shake time. God damn it. Ah, I need this shit. Fucking training legs and I gotta say, man, I feel fucking great. Uh, my knees were not fucking bothering me. It was fucking crazy. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but um, I even did a little squatting. And uh, they felt good. Didn't feel any pain or anything. So, wow. Um, I don't know what to say, but I feel good. My knees feel good. I feel great. And uh, I don't be sore as fuck. I'm looking forward to this shit. This is gonna be awesome. I think I can see my legs blowing the fuck back up. Um, thinking positive, and I think just my mental fucking outlook on shit is gonna make it happen. You guys know how important it is to have that positive, you know, mental fucking 100% this shit's gonna happen. And I think I'm gonna make it happen. I think that I'm gonna work through this shit. My knees are gonna get better. My legs are gonna get bigger. It's all gonna come together. At the end of these three months, watch out, goddamn it! <laughs> we are at Fresh Kitchen, goddamn it! This place is the shit. I know you guys know that, but we are gonna grub. So this is like literally maybe five minutes from Powerhouse, so it's like perfect. Fucking kill the Powerhouse, drink my motherfucking shake, and boom, Fresh Kitchen. So uh, go in there and get some goddamn grub, right? Keto, goddammit.
right, it's meal four. And I am ahead of schedule. It looks like I'm probably going to get five meals in today, which is fine. It's okay to eat, you know, more meals than you're supposed to. You just don't want to eat less meals. If we're on four meals a day, no fucking way do you eat three meals. Unacceptable. Four is easy. So four meals a day. You go to five, maybe six. It's not a big deal. You know, better to eat too much than not enough. So I'm going to get five meals in today. We're going to be upping the food any day now. So the next couple days, we'll be upping it to five meals. I'm eating my favorite fucking 5% keto meal. It's a lean steak and asparagus. And the fucking sauce they use on this steak roll is fucking awesome. So, and the steak is so tender. I don't know if you guys can see how tender that shit is, but... It's so, it like melts in your mouth. It's like butter. It's fucking really fucking good quality meat. But definitely my favorite pepper shit meal on the keto. And the asparagus, which... I've never really been a huge fan of asparagus, but I've grown to like it, actually. What are you having, baby? Steak. Same thing? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. How do you like your asparagus? Do you like it al dente? Uh, yeah, I actually, like if I'm doing it myself, I like to bake it in the oven so it's kind of crunchy with some garlic on it. Mmm. Garlic, huh? Yeah, when I was young, I liked the, I liked the really soggy. You know, like the ones that came in the can, Ugh, right? Because I ate so that shit as a kid gross. and ate it in the can. Uh, but, you know, now that I've became an adult, I definitely like the al dente better. You have more refined taste. <laughs> Do you have any grey poupon for your asparagus? Right. Man, this stuff in the can is so salty, right? Oh, it's just, no. That is so gross. <laughs> it's stringy, too. Stringy. Soggy, limp asparagus. You don't have to chew it. You just swallow it. <laughs> Some of those down your throat. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So, a lot of times I eat when I work. So I'm sitting at the desk working and eating. But what I do is I get preoccupied working and I forget about my food. And next thing you know, an hour goes by and I'm still on the same meal. It's like you can't win, right? So I found that to just walk away from the work, spend five, 10 minutes eating the meal, finish it, and then go back to work is the best scenario. But sometimes I'm so into what I'm doing that I can't stop. So I get my meal and start on the computer and next thing you know, a fucking hour goes by and I haven't even finished my meal. All right, Cheesecake Factory. We are grubbing tonight. Downtown Tampa, Florida. We are grubbing cheesecake. Did you get cheesecake, babe? Not tonight. <laughs> not tonight, why not? Because I want to have ice cream. <laughs> right. Let's fucking get home and grub. I'm starving. Oh, yes. This is, I got to tell you guys, this is the best fucking burger. I don't know if I'm just starving or what, but this fucking burger is so fucking good from Cheesecake Factory. The Kobe beef. I've had it before, and I've always loved it, but tonight... It's fucking amazing. <laughs> so I got a Kobe beef burger wrapped in lettuce, fucking green beans. They have great green beans. And a fucking Cobb salad. So I am grubbing. Keto style, goddammit. Piano keto. Enjoying your motherfucking food. That's what it's about. <laughs> is enjoying that shit. Life's too short to suffer, goddammit. Eat tasty, eat good, and get fucking shredded. That's my motto. No need to suffer, right? Right on. Holy fuck, man. It was so good. Mm -hmm. I'm like crazy. You're making me hungry. 